just tell you an incident. When the trial started happening, the first day of the trial, when Guru Bhakshi and Nomita said there were three officers put on trial, a Sikh, a Hindu, and a Muslim. So Guru Bhakshi and Dillon was a Sikh, Prem Sagal, who was Shah Ali ke nana hai. Prem Sagal and uh, Shah Nawaz Khan, a Muslim. So they were taking the, the, the trials happened in the Red Fort. The Salim Gar Fort, within the Red Fort, there's a uh, POW camp was made. And they were taking it inside the truck. So Gorkha soldiers were escorting them along with some uh, British officer. The Brit British officer pushed Dillon. Chaldi Jalogan, he pushed. Dillon turned and slapped him. This, a brief scuffle happened between them. But no Gurkha soldier came up to save the British officer. And, and then Jawaharlal Nehru, because Jawaharlal Nehru was part of the defense committee who was fighting the case for the INA, he came up and said, this is the first sign of independence. Today we saw because a British officer was, you know, slapped and none of the Gurkha soldiers kind of came to help and the trial happened, that was the beginning of the trial. So, actually, I know it's about time that people use this history. Yeah, absolutely. Now, but these are the incredible ifs and buts of history. Now, we, we don't know what would have happened in Britain if, if uh, the Tories were in power. And, Churchill, Churchill was Prime Minister and, and, and not actually had been the Prime Minister. You know, again, we, we can only guess. We can only guess. And that is why writing fiction is the best thing possible. Yeah. And on that note... Uh, and it's not just... It's also safe. Very safe. Yeah. And on, on that note, uh, is there anyone who has uh, one or two quick questions to ask the authors, the panelists? Uh, or would everyone like to now head towards the bar? Unam, Maria. The bar, the bar. Maria will ask me, have the kids gone to sleep? <laughs> uh, no, what, what I want to ask both of you is... Uh, Yes, this took two years to write and it was about something that was really close to your heart, a story that you said needed to be told at this point of time. Um, as to individuals, was there ever a point when you were writing that you thought that the story had to go a different way or, or were you always, you know, on agreement with everything? Well, actually... Um and who won the rounds most of the time? So what we did when we first started writing was we actually uh, wrote out a screenplay. Before the book, there was a screenplay. Because when the idea came up, uh, we had thought that it would make a great film. So um, it started with a screenplay. So already there was a st structure in place. And uh, so um, as we went along, one of the things I think on which we stumbled was we had researched, but we had thought most of the stuff had happened in Burma and so we had set a large part of the story, the entire middle, in Burma and we researched Burma and we, we you know, the nightclubs, the everything and then we discovered that no, they were actually in Singapore. So, you know, everything, has, so that, that was, that, that, that took us back a little bit. Arguments, no, I mean, um, I think um, I think the the if if you're not perhaps even seeing the same thing, um, it's I think true of any collaboration that you discuss it and the person who's making more sense for in the context of what you're trying to do at that point of time and for the story. I think the whole point about collaboration is you give up your egos for the final baby, you know. So what was good for the story? What would work for the story? What needed to be told? How it needed to be structured? What characters to drop? What characters to introduce? Uh, the rhythm of the story, where to hold back? So yeah, so we, 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 we discussed a lot. And, and if there were areas of disagreement, we talked it out and then sorted it out. I want to ask a question, which is that uh, the mechanics of writing, uh, I can understand both of you are developing a plot together, but who actually writes? 
You know, how, how, how can two people share writing? I don't understand. Because there's a uniformity of style. No. So, so I, I not until there are two different styles that yeah. one. So. No, so we had to, um, I mean, there were many drafts made. Um, Sanjay worked on certain sections of it, I worked on certain sections of it. And we worked out the drafts and then, like I said, we had the screenplay in place. Um, but, you know, at the end of it, one person has to write because there is stylistic language, all that. So, yeah. So, yeah, one person did it. I think also what happened is that since we know each other for so long and we uh, worked on this for so long, that those styles actually merged. And uh, what happened was that there were parts where I thought that I have done a lot of research and I've been influenced by, influenced by military history and battles all the time, so let me write this scene, this battle scene. And then she would come in and say, no, but it's not making sense like this, I think we should do this. And then we would incorporate that or the other way around. So, so we would keep coming back and, and uh, cross-referencing and going back to the same thing again and again till, strangely enough, uh, a style of its own emerged, which is, you know, like, uh, I think the best part of both our styles. Who, who, who wrote that scene which was read about the uh, kiss? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah. But the, the one about the, uh, the Gurkhas was, was uh, Sanjay. Uh, about the... Kiss was mine. Yes, kiss was mine. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Um, being a writer myself, I believe that a writer has to be first true to themselves. Okay, you write, I believe that you write first for yourself, and then if it goes out to a large audience, that's, that's brilliant. Uh, I also believe that we often tend to romanticize the past, and by the past I mean history. So my question to you is, how much of the fact did you keep as fact? How much of it did you actually fictionalize so that it went under the genre of historical fiction? Uh, there was no actual effort made to achieve any of those uh, ends there. Uh, but uh, fiction, fiction writers are not really duty bound to report uh, in the sense that you could, you could actually stick to facts all the time, but then your narrative would read like a lecture on history. And, and then what would happen is that you would completely leech all vigor out of your story. You know, you would make it sound so boring and, and tepid and probably not engaging and exciting. On the other hand, you can't also be fast and loose with your facts simply because there are real people involved here, there are real incidents that took place. So you've got to strive a balance. That's the most exciting thing about historical fiction, that you find that balance and you find those holes and you spin, and you spin a yarn through them. Yeah, and How much creative license do you take in something yeah, like so, this? So, so I think um, the broad strokes of history, what happened, the fact that... Ashad sir. Hey Rahim, Rahim. Hey Krishar. Hey party here, Wala. Hey, you, you are taking it, Baba. Yes, you are taking it, Baba. What do I do? Hey, Rahim, Rahim. Bala Modi Rama, Bala Tari Rama, Bala Modi Rama, Bala Tari Rama. Bye bye.
डरंग डरंग सर योर राइट Pipeline. We can't really talk about it, but um, yes, we definitely want to make a film out of it. And coming soon to a theatre. And coming anyway. soon, yes. Um, but it's a it's a historical film, so it's quite yes. the scale is very big, and so therefore it requires it requires a lot of lot of support. Also, of also we want to make sure, as we have with the book, that we don't want to do any kind of disservice to anybody. We we want to make sure that we get the facts right, uh, and then we. Say our story, or we make our story around that. Do you have any uh, plan to do any actor actress in your life for the film? Like, well, do you have somebody wish, on your wish, list. List. wish list? Wish list. I wish list. I would like to have Dev Patel as Nishanko because I think he has the intensity and the, and the, um, and I think the idealism that Nishanko stands for. Aditi. Um, is can you see Aditi? Well, not as yet. I think it's a little early. I think Dave very easily fits that part. Uh, the others would require a little bit of us to. Nishanko. 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 Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's. Uh, it's uh, I think there's so much talent out there, and so much, um, so much because these are all actually when you look back at it. The story is about very young people, you know. It's about an 18-year-old girl. Yeah. It's about a 21-year-old boy yeah. uh, who's been thrown into battle, yeah. uh, into this reality of having to fight a war. And there is a slightly older, 24-year-old. So you know, they're very young people. I mean, it's not about it's not an old people's tale, and it's about young people taking um, taking their beliefs and going out there. So, so yeah, there's a big wish list, and would love to. Uh, yeah and there's also the the thing that very often because the story is is big and the events that happened were so big that very often we forget how young those people must have been who took part in those events so naturally it's got to be about the sensibilities and uh, you know the the spirit of youth so that's that's very important to retain it yeah and, and not like an old man's tale or somebody who's so so that is very important and and that has to be captured right thank you uh, are you uh, uh, this is the first edition of the book which is coming up that's right uh, what are your expectations from the book and your target market but our target market is almost everybody simply because uh, it is for all those people who are interested in historical fiction and there are lots of such pe lots of people like that but at the same time we haven't written it so that it can become overbearing or tedious so so it is in fact for all those who love basically a good yarn those who love a good story those who love characters and everything that happens to them people who believe in love and people who understand that there is a dark side to love which is betrayal and and people who basically are read thrillers and i think of all age groups probably must be become a best seller in coming days wo inshallah and probably somebody has probably already asked you about the the scene the chapter the bit on the book cover so how did you zero up on that uh, picture concept is love during in the time of war isn't it and it's stolen moments um the if you if, when you read the book uh the way all their lives are are you know on the brink uh, anything can happen they don't know what they're going into they don't know what kind of what their lives will be you know even a month from now so we try to capture the fragility of that of what they had in the midst of war and a moment of that peace and that calm which they you know try to 
And you really don't know because it's 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 about a love story. It's about it's a, it's about a triangle. Uh, so who's this? And so it was like keeping it a little open. It's picture. almost like you are spying on on two people. It's almost like you've come, you've parted the bushes, and you see this scene uh, happening. It's like that. Aditi and we won't say who that one is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, before we take leave and congratulate you, uh, 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 we congratulate you. We just want to know who will be directing the film, like if it will happen. Well, I'm a director. Yeah, no, so, uh, so I would yes, love to direct. And uh, so let's see in the future what happens. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank you. बहुत बढ़िया मुझे एक्चुअली बुक पढ़ने का बहुत इच्छा हो रही है क्योंकि I I was a student of history and this is such an interesting premise you know a fiction set in a historical time and and also Namita and Sanjay I think their collaboration as writers and as two intellectual minds will be will be quite exciting actually I'm I'm quite looking forward to this work of fiction. अभी आ रही है जग्गा अप्रैल में और जिसका और मैंने एक ब्रिटिश फिल्म किया साथ में दाहंगी बोलके जिसमें जिसका है नसीरुद्दीन शाह है नीरज का भी है सूरज शर्मा है मैं हूँ तो बहुत ही मजा आया हमें so yeah I think that's also coming out this year और कुछ कुछ है जो आ रही है देखेंगे आप लोग पर अभी next है जग्गा शायोनी I think it's always nice to see uh, to hear excerpts from a book because when you're reading it you know you're imagining it but when you're when you hear the writers uh, sort of read them out or you know the panelists read them out um, and they have obviously chosen the excerpts keeping something in mind you know because you can't really read out the whole book so that was uh, that it always fascinates me um, I actually came a little late so I wasn't there throughout but uh, whatever part of their conversation and the panel discussion was hearing uh, again you know during INA during Subhash Bose's time uh, this, this whole uh, you know what would a love story set in that time be like and uh, so that was really exquisite you know when you start imagining those things and the highlight was really listening to these people and the writers both Nomita and Sanjay sort of talk about their experience and collaborating to write because it's very difficult to write together and how that process sort of worked out for them that was really interesting for me yeah me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ranbir. <laughs> Ranbir. <laughs> yeah, he's my favorite. Okay, na? Okay, na casting? Chalo. Chal chapwa do. Huh? Bilkul. Bilkul. Costumes. Uh, Shrija kar sakti hai. Uh, Triska is actually very good with styling. She can style the film. No, 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 we're going to go to the northeast and uh, go to the eastern part of Bengal, uh, sorry, India and uh, shoot. Which uh, studio would you like to have if you Studio? Um, studio any? Viacom or UTV or uh, UTV is no more, na? Uh, Disney. Yeah, Disney. Chalega. <laughs> Hopefully, could you? Happy to see the Academy Award this time. I didn't see it, but I saw excerpts and I saw you know those clips that keep coming and whatever has happened and I I see what everyone everyone was wearing and you know I like to see photos from there and yeah I did see some excerpts and some interviews which were quite cool actually. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, these things keep happening. I mean, you know, it's it's funny when it happens at that forum, and you know, at a and the whole world watches it. Um, it's sad because I feel the the limelight, moonlight should have been in the limelight at that point, and it sort of took away from their moment. 
but having said that, I think uh, everyone was very gracious about it. Everyone was like quite a sport. And it's actually quite funny, you know, everyone's talking about it. It's given us something to talk about, something fun. Uh, so it's fine, I guess, you know, these things keep happening. Why India? India mein to sabko de dete award na <laughs> kisi ko nahi chhodte <laughs> so <laughs> ha exactly <laughs> to mujhe to maine aisa hi suna hai jo jata hai unko de dete hai main to jati nahi hu mujhe nahi pata ha nahi mujhe main nahi bolna chahungi kyunki sab log itna kuch bol rahe hai mujhe kuch nahi bolna hai wo actually mere college se hai lsr se aur aaj hi jo english department hai lsr se Uh, they have come out with their uh, comment and uh, i think enough has been said aajkal ye social media mein na sab kuch banne se pehle pehle khichdi ban jata hai so i think uh, the lesser we speak about it the better honestly is there any kuch matlab how do you keep this thing matlab kaise kya nahi bolna chahiye bolna chahiye to kaise bolna chahiye नहीं बिल्कुल बोलना चाहिए बट नाउ यू नो दिस इज एवरी वन हैज एन ओपिनियन राइट एंड अदर पीपल हैव एन ओपिनियन अबाउट योर ओपिनियन सो इट्स जस्ट टू मच आई फील एंड इट्स इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द इट्स इट्स पार्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी लिव इन यू नो एंड बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट कॉमेंट एनी थिंग बिकॉज इट्स जस्ट गोइंग टू कीप गेटिंग यू नो यू आर गोन टू मेक समथिंग आर ग्रो शायोनी हैज सेट दिस एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट एट ऑल सो आई हैव नो आई हैव नथिंग टू से जस्ट दैट whatever is happening we'll see we are getting to see and uh, yeah just log on to your twitter and you will see you know bilkul bhi nahi thread um but you know the thing with trolls and threats and all of that is it's completely unnecessary it's in very bad um i mean it's really wrong um yeah apart from that i don't think uh, like everyone should feel safe and everyone has the right to express their opinion you know and that shouldn't be tampered with i feel uh, you have the right to speak your mind and so does he and so does every single person who lives in this country and it's part of our fundamental right you know freedom to express uh, so that shouldn't be tampered with and uh, everyone should have the right to freely express themselves you know and uh, that's all i think uh, that uh, we should really be concerned about Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.